Hey guys, it is Sunday here in the Philippines, so I'm going to go ahead and do our first premium unboxing for the upcoming week. Because uh, I'm not sure how Monday is going to go for me, so I'll go ahead and do it today. So what I have in store for you guys is kind of a uh, older premium set from Hot Wheels. That's why I kind of named the video Hot Wheels Rewind. Because we're going back three years to unbox the first segment of the 50th anniversary favorites. There was a 10 car set and they released the first five. Then a couple months later, released the second five. So anyways, the set we're doing today is the first five. Um, and we'll go ahead and do them in order, one through five, and we'll kind of go over them together, and I'll give you my two cents on what I think about them picking this particular model for the top ten, and then you guys can let me know what you think, too, on the series. So, number one is the 56 Chevy, and that is this guy here, 56 Chevy Hardtop. Looks like a Pro Tory model. As you can see, the cards on these were kind of bland, actually. Just black and blue, two-tone, 50th, Hot Wheels, and favorites. It doesn't even say anniversary, except at the top here. It's the 50th uh, Hot Wheels anniversary, I guess. Established in 1968, so 2018 marked the 50-year anniversary. So, anyways... um. This is a cool casting. It's been around for a few years, and we don't see it too often, actually. Um, the last time I remember seeing it was in, like, the Phil's, Larry's, and Wayne's Garage series with the rubber tires. There could have been other, um, like, uh, appearances of it during the past few years, past decade, probably. I just don't recall seeing it very often. So it's kind of a forgotten casting. That's why I have a hard time saying that this is like a top 10 car. And like, I would say that they should have went with some iconic cars for the top 10 favorites. I mean, if they were just saying like 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels and then they had a premium set, then they also had the like, I don't know, I guess I would call it like turn back the clock set where it looked like the old red lines. And then they had... The ones that they're way overplaying now, like the, the 50th anniversary set where they had the Chase all gold-plated 67 Camaro. That was a cool set, but then they started overplaying a 50th, 51st anniversary, 52nd. Now we're on 53, so really, I, I mean, that, that's kind of crazy. They should have been making a set every year since 1968 like that, but after 50th anniversary, they should have stopped with that, in my opinion. But uh, anyways, this 56 Chevy is pretty cool. Let's get him out. Um, but what I'm trying to say is the 56 Chevy, I don't know if I would have picked him as one of the favorites. Um, and on the back of the card, you can see this gives you the lineup here. 56 Chevy, the 71 AMC Javelin, the 60s Ford Econoline pickup, the custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback, the Datsun Blueboard 510 Wagon, Volkswagen T1 drag bus and the 78 Dodge Little Red Express truck, 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser, 69 Camaro, and the 65 Ford Galaxy. That makes up your top 10 favorites. And guys, to be honest with you, there's only like four of them here that I feel should be in this list. I like all the castings, but the ones that I feel that deserve to be in the favorites would be the Datsun Wagon the 55 Chevy Gasser, the VW Drag Bus, and the possibly, actually nothing else, honestly. So, honestly, the three that I think is the Bluebird Wagon, the Gasser, and then the Drag Bus. Because if you're going to go with favorites, you need to go with the most iconic cars from Hot Wheels. And, anyways, we'll go over that together. So, uh... This is your 56 Chevy, number one. And the paint job and stuff is pretty cool. Uh, it's like a copper metallic, I guess I would call it. And it has like silver tampos, 50th anniversary insignia on the quarter panel, detailed headlights, and then the Bel Air Boomerang, Chevy Boomerang, whatever you want to call it there. 
some scallops on the roof and deck lid or on the hood and the roof. Um, and the five spokes is a good choice. And the diameter of the rear ones is a really good choice because usually they pick like same size all the way around on the fills or Wayne's Garage releases. And it looked like the tire is set back too far on this casting, which it still does in a way, but the bigger diameter kind of helps make up for it. So really cool casting. Nice car. I do dig it. But should it have been in the favorites? Probably not. Uh, this is a cool car, though. Not taking anything away from the car, but it's just not a top 10 Hot Wheel. Uh, the Gasser is. As we see, it's probably one of the most sought-after RLC release cars to date. Same thing with, like, the 83 Silverado. The 67 Camaro should have been there instead of the 69 Camaro. The 83 Silverado should have taken the place of the Little Red Express. And so forth. Now, number two, this is a uh, <clears throat> excuse me. This is a very popular casting when it comes to the vintage racing series. So I guess I could see why they picked this one. Um, because even in like the road racing series that came up a couple of years after the vintage racing, uh, the car that they had of the or the variant they had of this seventy one AMC Javelin. It's pretty sought after also. Um, so usually when this car is released with rubber tires, it's pretty popular. Uh, made an appearance in the main line a few times and such. So pretty cool casting. Um, as I said, it's probably uh, one of the most popular ones, I would say in the top five for the vintage racing series so I can understand why they chose this one let's get him off the card and look at him this is one that I could say is debatable that I could say they could debate this one but if I was to pick one or two from the vintage racing series that should have been in the top 10 one should have been the Datsun 510 coupe because it's just well the Datsun 510 coupe it's one of the most sought after Hot Wheels also then, to me, number two should have probably been the 66 Chevelle, just because that's another one that's pretty valuable, hard to find, and they did not make many releases of that car yet. There's only four of them to date since they introduced it in the Vintage Racing Series. So that's my sense on if I was picking cars from the Vintage Racing Series, it would have been the 510 Coupe and the Chevelle. But the Javelin's no slouch either. Cool car. Has the red, white, and blue paint, but laid out a little different than Donahue's car. Used the same, like, mini light or Wantanabe style wheels. Detailed grille with headlights, marker lights. Could have detailed tail lights, it's hard to tell because it's red so anyways cage and such so really nicely detailed casting i do dig this casting i'm glad i have the vintage racing one because that's probably the most sought after one of this casting so that's your number two and then number three this is one that i often wonder why um this 60s Ford Econoline pickup. I like this casting. I like it from the Shop Truck series when it had the five spokes and it's uh, red and I think it has Cabela or something like that as a sponsor, the skateboard place. Really cool version of it. But this paint job in particular, I'm not really a fan of the black flames and then the metallic copper. I don't know. It, it's kind of like almost the same as that. This is a little darker. So, not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of the wheel choice for it. And then the white wall tires, not really into that. I like the casting. I just don't like this variant of it, in my opinion. So, let's get him out and look at him a little closer. Um, but, as I said, it's a cool casting because I do like these like cab over style pickups. Like the A100s from Dodge. And then they put the... Engines in the bed, made the wheel standards, like the Gas Monkey Garage version of the Econo line. It's pretty cool. This is a beautifully done casting. Just not 
a fan of this variant, but the casting itself I do dig. Like how they had the skateboard laying in the bed, the raised forward lettering on the tailgate. Just overall, it's a nice casting, beautifully detailed, nice casting just in general, beautiful. But this variant, not what I like. But uh, if I was to pick something to replace this, I don't know, maybe the Dodge Power Wagon, like the 70 Dodge Power Wagon, maybe even the 67 Ford Bronco, the 70 Chevy Blazer. Those seem to be the three most iconic trucks from the Grod series back in 2011. So I would have probably put one of those in there instead of this guy. Now, number four is also a sought after name. And this is a cool little casting. This is your custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback. So this is another one kind of like the Javelin that could be debated, but really what I would have done, I would have released the T1 like they did with all the windows, and then I would have released the panel with no windows, the drag buses. Both variants of the drag buses because those are probably the two most sought after Volkswagen castings to collect. Or even the Cool Combi would have been another one that would have been totally acceptable. Actually, the Cool Combi, I think, would have been ideal along with the panel-style drag bus instead of the one with the windows. But um, I do agree that probably two VWs should have possibly been in the top ten considering all the VW collectors there are. Uh, so that I do agree with. And this one in particular is a cool looking little car, like the Volkswagen service on the panel and then the side stripe with the little guy looking character there. And then the 50th anniversary logo on the quarter looks really good. Let's get him out and get a better look at him. So this one, as I said, I can kind of justify him. So pretty cool. And I'm not even sure what this says on the side stripe, but there is some kind of message here. Something about Volkswagen. Always ready to serve you and your Volkswagen. Ah, okay, so it is the VW guy. You can see the, his head is the VW logo. So pretty cool paint job, actually. And then the off-centered stripe looks pretty cool. This dark green metallic looks like a British racing green, which is really cool. Detailed tail lights, detailed headlights and marker lights. So overall, this is a pretty cool casting. It looks really good, nicely detailed, nice paint job, actually. So corresponds great with like the vehicle itself, being the panel delivery type vehicle and then being Volkswagen service vehicle, it looks awesome. So, the fifth one is the one that I feel deserves to be in the top 10. This is your 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. And this is the first time that I ever noticed it with a grill tampo. So, usually everybody is always pointing out, oh, it has smooth grill, it has textured grill. Well, this is the first time that it actually had a painted grill that's detailed with headlight and marker light tampos so this is new well new for that release so that was pretty cool there's even like some variants but i think it was more of an error instead of a variant where they didn't put this tampo on that's was kind of being hunted that year in 2018 when these were released i don't know how hot and popular it is nowadays but there were a couple errors out there. I don't think it was a variant. I don't think there was enough out there to be a variant. But I could be wrong about that. So this one is really cool. Looks really good with the four spokes. Chrome. And then the Datsun. The white stripe on the side with the Datsun lettering. 50th anniversary logo. Detailed tail lights. The stripe on the hood and roof. The white with this red like pinstriping to outline it, outline it a little bit. So it looks really, really good. Actually, I like this variant with the detailed grill, detailed tail lights. Looks very, very nice. Uh, nowadays, you see this grill 
tampo quite often, but I think this is marked the first time that that grill tampo was ever used. So really cool piece. And <clears throat> we've already, <clears throat> excuse me guys, we've already taken a look at the drag bus once before from the 50th anniversary favorites. I unboxed that a few months ago. Actually, it was for a challenge. It may have been a year ago for Mike Dyson. Um, he wanted us to show our fantasy guard cars. So I'll leave that link here in the uh, at the end of the video so you guys can check that out that had a lot of cool vehicles in it uh, a lot of like really cool fantasy vehicles ones that you wouldn't even think of as fantasy vehicles so check out that video I'm sure you'll enjoy it and then uh, the gasser I've unboxed for you guys and showed you guys just a couple weeks ago once again uh, the gasser from this set from the second release and then uh, we've taken a look at the Galaxy before and the Little Red Express. The only one I don't think I showed you guys is the Camaro, but I no longer have the Camaro. I no longer have the Galaxy either. I just have the Drag Bus, the Gasser, and the Little Red Express. Uh, so then um, I have most of them. Uh, this actually I bought because I wanted the wagon this guy here so I had to buy the whole set here to get the wagon so it's sometimes hard to find like individual cars that are hot if they come with like four not so hot cars here they want to sell them often in a set or they want to overcharge you just for the one so I just have a tendency to buy the set keep one or two from the set and sell the rest basically what I'm going to do here. So if anybody's on the market for any of these four back here, let me know. <laughs> if you're in the Philippines, I'm only going to keep the Datsun. So if anybody needs any of these other ones, let me know in the comments or message me on FB, Instagram, Reddit, wherever uh, you are. Usually I'm everywhere on social media. So guys, um, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. And don't forget to check out the fantasy car challenge uh video so i will see you come wednesday we're going to be doing the mini gt wagon wednesday as i promised last week i did get the wagons over the weekend the uh audi rs6 wagons and we will be unboxing those latest two on wednesday so make sure you tune back in for that guys thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend what's left of it and have a great start to your new week. Thanks for watching.